Hey guys, it's Tibbs and Dixie here. Uh, Purple Newbie Juice. We're down at the river, Westfield River in the fall afternoon, about 500 yards from my house. Actually, it's more like 300 yards. And uh, we're gonna try our luck at fishing out here. A beautiful, uh, beautiful scenery down here. And uh, hopefully, um, hopefully we have some luck. Right, Dix? Right, girl? Water's very not very fast moving right here, but there isn't a lot of a lot of holes. Try to get over closer to those rocks. There's a lot of smallmouth bass in here, but there's some really really nice trout in here too. Of course, this area is like so overfished. There's a uh, pull off just up the road up there across the street and uh, so this area is pretty accessible and um, basically wanted to get out here and outside away from traffic away from tag sales away from that whole That whole thing for now and just take a nice relaxing day. Brought some night crawlers and maybe we'll catch a bypassing trout. I'm gonna take one more shot with this rod and then set up the uh, live bait and turn you guys on when we catch something or we see something. All right, guys, we'll get back to you. Okay, it's not that I'm impatient or anything, but uh, we decided we're gonna move just up the way a little bit. Um, I'd like to move up there, but I'm using a bobber with the live bait. <clears throat> the live bait, uh, the bobber's just gonna carry it down and end up coming closer to shore. We're down over here, I might have some luck of it staying on the outer side in the channel area. So we're gonna go up over this bedrock down the other side and maybe set up on that point over there. And we can leave our bobber in a while, take out the, uh, the lure and throw that too and maybe have a little bit better luck. Plus I'll be able to see further down the river if there's any kind of wildlife like bear or deer. This is a beautiful spot right up here. It's like a inside bend, but it's a peninsula up kind of and it'd be a real nice spot. And I, I like to detect up there in the next few days. Hopefully the weather holds out for us. All right, well, we'll see in a little bit when we get over set up over there. Okay, so this is where we uh, chose to uh, to fish. We just moved from uh, just on top of that rock over there, over to here. Um, there's some ledges right here. There's some deeper water. I remember fishing on that uh, little island right there. And we caught quite a few of them out here. So, some trout that is. So hopefully, uh, I'm not really a bobber fisherman, but it's too nice of a day. And I just want to relax and see what, see what we can catch out there. Okay. I don't know if that was a stroke of bad luck. Oh no, should've left it alone. Should've known my eyes are deceiving me. But anyways, we'll get back to you if we catch anything. What? What do you want? What do you want?
What do you want? What do you want? I love you too. Okay, well, we haven't gotten anything yet. I just uh, cast out into the uh, channel on the other side, right in front of those uh, logs. Maybe something will pop and grab it. Um, what a beautiful, beautiful reflection in the water right there. It's, uh, it's gorgeous. <clears throat> I wish I could paint like that. It's like a mirror image. It is a mirror image. <laughs> All right, we'll get back to you. <clears throat> this is definitely one of the most beautiful days of fishing I've done in a long time. You can hear the Katie dids in the background. Troll train just went by a little while ago. <clears throat> the way the camera's pointed right now is where the uh, tracks are. Unfortunately, I said fishing. Um, as far as catching, not so much. But it really doesn't matter because it's just so beautiful. Tranquil, other than the traffic going by. Probably going on around four o'clock. Thereabouts. So maybe we'll see some wildlife soon enough. Right around this time the eagles start flying overhead and I don't know if they've moved on yet, but um, <clears throat> there's still a chance of a bear or some deer popping out of the woods and that's kind of what we're hoping for too. So we'll, uh, we'll get back to you if there's anything exciting for sure. So apparently Dixie thinks we're gonna do better moving down. So, I'm a little concerned about bees and I see a it looks like a uh, bumblebee right there. Hopefully we won't step in any nests. It is kind of a warmish day. Some nice little red berries there. I believe those are some kind of picker bush. We are headed down closer to the area where it, I see the, the deer every time I drive by. This is the spot in the summer where I caught the, uh, the trout off the bottom. Must be a little eddy here for all these leaves to be hung up. A little sandbar here. I don't see any fresh tracks. But we do have the highway right there. So wildlife mainly is 
comes from the other side. You okay? She don't like sitting in one spot too long. You picking this spot, Dixie? Because it doesn't look like there's any good places to sit down. You're getting covered with all kinds of stuff, aren't you? Ugh. So darn shallow here. Yeah, see, that's what she wants. She wants to play in the water. I hope she didn't get stung by a bee. She's acting funny. Don't scare the fish, okay? Well, we'll give it a shot here for a little while. We'll get back to you if we see anything interesting. So we were uh, kind of passing some time by mudlarking a little bit, looking in between the stones and seeing what we could find and uh, came across this old piece of pottery. I don't know if this doesn't have an outer, it has an outer ridge but not an inner ridge so that might have been, I don't know, maybe a plate. It's got that bean pot color to it, that kind of glaze on it but it's definitely old. Uh, a piece of driftwood, a piece of brick, and some glass, a little piece of iron. This is kind of cool, this um, pattern they have on the uh, little piece of pottery. That was probably, uh, it's got glaze on both sides, so that might have been some kind of copper or salt soup dish, or who knows. And maybe this is probably an old Pond's uh, cream. There's no writing on it. Oh yeah, there is. What the heck is that? There's a... ...806. So that's probably a batch number maybe, or it could be... I don't know. But anyways, uh, I'm gonna try getting back to fishing in a little bit. Keep our eyes on the ground and see what we can see. All right, guys. Uh, I'm gonna take a couple casts here on the chance I might get something. It doesn't look too promising though. Especially when you got a swimming dog. She just took a bite of a, not a bite, but nipped at a, uh, something sticking to her fur and she did not like the taste of that at all. Either that or the texture. It was a spiny little thing. Look at that, the acorns are falling so much. This year, a vehicle that just went by, I could hear a metallic sound of one hitting it. <laughs> that happened to me the other day. I thought it was some kids throwing rocks. Scares the heck out of you. Had to have been a pretty good sized acorn. Still no sign of wildlife. other than the sounds of birds and 
chipmunks and katydids. Well, again, I'll come back, get back to you with any kind of update. Squeaker. Squeaker. What you got? What's that stick? Bring here. What's that? Bring here. <laughs> you funny girl. You funny girl. You want to play, huh? Yes, you do. <laughs> Well, guys, as much as I'd like to have showed you something interesting, um, it was at least a peaceful, relaxing afternoon, late afternoon, and uh, unfortunately, no wildlife, <clears throat> no fish, not even any signs of fish, no jumping, no activity whatsoever. This one wants to go home and take a bath, and there's a bug on me. <laughs> Uh, anyways, uh, I thought it was a bee. So, uh, I guess until the next time, it's going to be Tibbs out. And hopefully, we'll come back with some kind of uh, more exciting um, video footage for you. Until next time, please share, like, subscribe, and comment. And Tibbs out.